What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Ghost Slater, two T's, and you know we back with another informative video. As you can see, this guy over here to the left of me, if you're looking at the screen, you can see this guy to the left of me, you see his watch is looking real beefy over there. Um, but you, And you can see that he is level 804, man. So, uh, if, you, if I wanted to look at this player, I think I can, uh, if, if it's people that's uh, next to you, you can kind of go to social. And I think it's if they're nearby. I think that's the guy right here. And we inspect him. You can see that he is level 804. Now that man has done some grinding on this game. <laughs> and you see he's running that Eagle Bear, so he definitely does the raid. And he's running a DPS build. Uh, yeah, and he's probably just looking for one more piece to I can't believe that he has this bill and he has the one status effect on the bill But that's real weird how he didn't change that out He's probably one of them players that just play and don't care really what he what all he really running cuz I don't see why he would have that one yellow on this bill But he does but oh well you see he's running uh, a crazy uh, DPS bill and uh, yeah um, yeah, you see his watch level. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to level up your watch level, okay? You see his is 804, you see mine is only 105. <laughs> so um, yes, you know, in order to play this game, you gotta put some time into it that I just couldn't commit to because I, I, I have a full-time job. So we're gonna depend on guys like this to keep um destiny alive and i'm gonna just keep bringing y'all these uh, beautiful awesome videos but as you can see his watch you can see how dope his watch look e that's looking cold Woo look how it's spinning and everything that's sick man i never even know it did that look how little my watch is i'm dead look at my little tiny little watch my watch looking all little his watch looking all big Man, I'm offended as a dude, man. I'm offended, man. I'm supposed to have a big old watch like that. And I got this little rinky-dink watch. That's tough. All right, guys. So what I'm going to be showing you guys, if you open up your map with the deep pad in the middle, if you open up the map and you come over here to this safe house, you see the White House. You see the White House. So the safe house is right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to fast travel to this safe house. I want to show y'all in real time so that y'all understand what's going on because I did see somebody else's video today and when I saw the video today they didn't really say nothing they just kind of showed the stuff they showed the stuff and they and that's all they showed so I'm gonna show you real time I got a few minutes to yell the, the holler at you guys and I'm gonna show you and then I'll be back with another part of the video after I show you exactly where to go and what to do and uh I'll show you step by step okay so and then you're gonna open the map again and you're gonna set your waypoint for right here which is right around the corner and it's called fallen cranes and this is where you're gonna go and complete um you're gonna go complete this event but before you do that you're gonna go to your world and you're gonna go to global and you're gonna change your setting to heroic and then hit square to confirm right and it's gonna change in about 10 seconds and once that changes all right so once you change that and then you can go to global and add all those directors and hit confirm heroic okay so once you've done that part, that'll change in the next uh, three to four seconds. It takes about 10 second countdown. Okay, and then it'll look like everything reset like it was kind of glitchy. So now we're on heroic setting. And we and then we'll be right back once we get to that actual uh, when we get back when we get to that control point on the map, okay? So we'll be right back once we get to that control point on the map. Okay guys, so once you get to this point where you've grinded, beaten this control point, it will be a little bit difficult. What I will tell you is don't be discouraged because I did die two or three times, but it did not set the, reset the checkpoint 
I came to the safe house, went right back out. You can see where there's stuff on the ground everywhere, and it let me finish. As long as you get one of the phases done, it will not reset. But um, as you can see, I had all kinds of crazy stuff all over the ground. I'm running that skill build, man, and you see that thing got pulse and all kinds of stuff all connected to it. It's, it's so good, man. I love this skill build. Um, and I'm just still putting it together to give you guys a, 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 a more further level 6. I've been working on them at level 6 now. And I'm trying to get it where I can get overcharged more often. But as you can see on the screen, I had got 600 and almost 61,000 XP. The biggest part of this video is going to come here at the end. You're going to just see me go around in the room. If you want to fast forward it to the end, where I show you what you do at the end. But I'm going to tell you, even though uh, I'm at this part of the video... Um, once you've done this, if you're not, this is a, this is a public service announcement so that you don't say that Ghostwriter told you this and you did it and it messed you all up. If you're in the hunts and you're looking forward to doing the hunts, then don't do this. But if you're looking to just get XP and gain watch experience, you want to do this. And then once you complete it, you back out of this, go to your world and reset the world over again and reset the checkpoint. I'm going to show you that here at the end of the video so you won't be confused. You're going to reset the checkpoint and it's going to set it back just like as if you didn't do none of the hunts. And you'll be good to go to do it again. And uh, just take your time, run a skill build, whatever build you want that you best uh, best at using. And just just take your time and, and there will be people to get you up off the ground so you don't die sometimes if you go down. But you probably want to run more than likely a, a tank build just so that you, you won't have to worry about you know going down so quick and just sit back and just make sure you kill all the enemies until you know you get it clear there's going to be probably about eight or nine waves watch to the left and the right of you because there'll be big dudes that come out with with uh big flamethrowers and you don't want to get hit by them you get hit by them and it's a done deal but i'll show you at the end of the video what i'm talking about with resetting it um i hope you guys are enjoying these videos make sure you drop me a like drop me a sub if you really enjoy uh the content i'm putting out for you guys I know I'm not the best streamer, and I know I'm not the best YouTuber, but to me, to you guys, I am the best, and you guys make me the best. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next part of the video. What's good, YouTube? If you made it this far in the video, you ghost game. There's no doubt about it. Hit that like and subscribe button. As you can see, you're going to see that I reset it. It is going to reset in about five or six seconds and it'll reset all your control points. If you're not worried about grinding this to get those things done and you're just looking for XP for your watch, you just want to reset it and go do that same one again. You're going to get really good at it. I hope y'all enjoy.